All right, welcome to Brian Does Stuff. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my game submission to the One Page RPG Hackathon 2021, Demon Breakers. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because uh, I haven't really written any solo RPGs in the past. Or sorry, this isn't solo. Any micro RPGs, I guess I should say, in the past. Uh, I've wanted to do that. Uh, the jam sort of gave me the motivation so because it was kind of low commit, right? Uh, and so I tried it out, and it's currently sitting, uh, I'm sure it won't live long, but it's currently sitting at the second spot for most popular physical games on itch.io, um, which is super cool. You can grab it for free right now. Uh, I have it on a sale, and there's some community copies, so it's totally free, uh, and it's probably going to be like $2 or something like that um, once the sale ends, but... Uh, let's take a look. So uh, basically, this was inspired by the game Sabotage by James Hanna, um, which I'm not going to show you that game. Uh, actually, you can because it is a re-game. Let's see, Sabotage. Here we go. Here's This is the print-friendly version. Um, so this is, it's like a no dice, no masters or belonging outside of belonging kind of game. Uh, but they added card prompts, which I thought was a cool innovation. And it's all on a single page. Um, cool theme, beautiful layout, card prompts, cool mechanics, very narrative focus. This game spoke to me. Um, and so that's why I chose it for uh, the jam. Um, and so uh, this is what the game ended up looking like. Uh, we'll take a we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. But uh, I want to give you the high level pitch so that you can kind of hear that and get the heck out of here. Um, basically, it's the plot of Ghostbusters in the setting of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's Demon Breakers. That's what I was going for. It uses again no dice, no masters, belonging outside belonging, and card prompts uh, to help you embody the city and the opposition, which is um, a demon. Uh, basically, your demonological Loris, recently unemployed after the college arcane terminated your grant due to, the alleged, to your allegedly sloppy methods and questionable conclusions. In desperation, you've started an exorcism business, just as Hell's Gates have opened in your fantasy city, unleashing a torrent of demonological activity. There it is. That is Demon Breakers in a nutshell. If you are interested in uh, No Dice, No Masters narrative first style games, one page, uh, and you like Ghostbusters and Monty Python and the Holy Grail, you might want to check out Demon Breakers. Um, it is not really like thoroughly play tested at this point, um, which, you know, if you're not interested in being a guinea pig, like get out of here. There's plenty of great games <laughs> that have already been play tested. Um, if you're open to being a guinea pig, uh, please, by all means, come give me your comments so that I can, uh, improve the game. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's just a really fun theme, uh, executed in a very simple way. One page, low prep. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, there are community copies. I'm going to add more. There's only nine right now. It's also even aside from community copies, it's on sale, hundred percent off zero dollars. Can't beat the price. Let's take a look. All right. So the way it works high level, uh, you build your city, you choose two things that it's your city's got going for it. Two things that your city, uh, is facing as a problem. You draw your city on a map, including landmarks here. Uh, four of those landmarks are the sites of the open hell gates. Then you create your demon breakers. Uh, you choose a vibe, like kind of what they're like at a high level. You choose your gear. Um, these are, you know, like the unstable proton proton packs powered by arcane magic. You know, um, you choose a crossed stream. This is a this is a mechanic from some um, belonging outside belonging games. Uh, it's basically it's often called a lure or something like that. Um, it's something where another player can interact with your character and they get a token for that. Um, so I think that's super cool. Anyway, uh, you, you answer some questions or rather you ask questions of the, of the player to your left and right to create connections between your characters. Um, that's a common thread of these new dice, new masters belonging outside of belonging games and what makes them so cool for character generation. Um, then you play to find out. 
um, whether you save the city or anyway. Um, so there's moves you can pay a token for trap a demon, compel an NPC, close a gate, right? Uh, there's, there's moves you earn a token for, and those are mainly drawing cards or interacting with another player's cross stream. Um, and then, uh, you can, um, pass a token in certain situations well as well. So, you know, it's zero sum. You're just moving your token to another uh, player. Closing a gate is the win condition. If you can close all four gates, um, then you win. It requires every player to spend a token uh, at the same time for the same location. Um, but some of the prompts can cause, um, can cause gates to reopen or can cause new gates to open and that sort of thing. Uh, but overall, this is, you know, it's more about telling a good story than it is about winning. I, in some ways, I kind of hope you lose and die a lot because I think it'd be funnier. <laughs> but that's De Demon Breakers, super simple. Um, and based off of the elegant design by James Hanna for Sabotage, which in turn is based on uh, games by you know, Avery Alder, uh, Jay Dragon, Riley Rethel, uh, those sorts of um, ilk, uh, which are, you know, basically a, a pantheon of modern uh, uh, indie RPG design. So um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you tell me that you enjoy it. And uh, I hope you tell me how to improve it. Uh, Itch.io, Demon Breakers. Thanks. <laughs>